Rob, here once more in my basement, which also serves as the soundstage for my Lair of Omnicide videos. Welcome to a new channel in the Lair of Omnicide umbrella. This one is called Card and Board, or Cardboard if you will. This is going to be the channel wherein I look at all different sorts of games, board games, card games primarily. Stepping away from the tabletop role-playing games, because I know there's an audience who loves board games and loves card games. And I thought, this can accomplish two goals. Number one, I can show off some of the different games that I have. Um, I do have a few obscure games, and I do have some games that if somebody is coming into the hobby, they might want to see the particulars of the game, which is great if you can have somebody demonstrate that. Secondly, it'll give my son, Alex, who is 12, and like many 12-year-olds, he loves watching videos on YouTube and playing video games. And I thought, if we can have more game time, board games, card games, what have you, um, that would be good for him on a number of levels, you know, helping him out with his uh, decision-making and uh, strategy and things like that. And, you know, anything that gets him off of the, the tablet or the computer isn't a bad thing. And I thought that you might like to take that ride with us. So, some will be videos like my Massive Darkness video here, uh, which has been brought over to the Card and Board channel. Uh, when I do more solo plays of my Massive Darkness, they'll be going on here as well. Uh, also, uh, when I do things with Alex, they'll be going on here as well. And hopefully I have lots and lots of videos that I can show you uh, all the different games that we have, both classic games as well as more modern games. For the uh, first video that is purely for card and board, uh, I would like to introduce to you a game that I've had now for a little while. I was fortunate enough to find this at Half Price Bookstore. I had never heard of the game before. But on a whim, I saw it. It was very reasonably priced. I picked it up. And it is... The Scurvy Musketeers of the Spanish Main. This is a series of card games made by Z-Man Games. Uh, it is their B-Movie saga. Uh, there are several to this set. I have been collecting them since I fell in love with this game, and so did my other game-playing friends. Uh, I have uh, the Bushwhack Environments up from Sergio's Butte. I don't think anybody should go up Sergio's Butte. I have Berserker Halflings of the Dungeons of Dragons, which is a riff on fantasy epics. I have Silent But Deadly Night for the interesting little genre of slasher uh, Christmas flicks. And I have uh, Bell Bottom Badasses of the Mean Streets of Funk, which is all about black exploitation films. These games are a very tongue in cheek parody where the players are taking the role of directors trying to put together a movie on next to no budget. So, the first thing that you do in the game, you figure out what the name of the movie is going to be. And to do that, you uh, draw six cards. Each of the cards has a word on the bottom. The players try to cobble together the best title they can out of the word salad that they draw. And you uh, then, everybody, once you've got a title, everybody gets a hand of cards. And the cards, there are, there are five slash six different styles. The first style are going to be your cast in the movie. Those are your characters and they have blue on the side, like this cabin boy here. They'll have some traits that different cards may key off of, and oftentimes some special ability. And as you can see on the bottom, that would be the word for the card. The Underneath the title is a quote. Many of the quotes are tied into the movies that inspired the line of um, that particular set. For example, this being the uh, Scurvy Musketeers of the Spanish Main, which is a blending of the Three Musketeers, pirate movies. You're going to find quotes from Princess Bride, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I think there's some Errol Flynn in there. Oh, and Robin Hood is thrown in too. 
I think there's a Robin Hood Prince of Thieves quote. There's definitely a Robin Hood Men in Tights quote. Um, so these guys are pretty savvy in the whole uh, media of uh, their genre. When you get into the other movies, uh, they are also similarly uh, themed and... Uh, Many of them are quite funny, especially if you know the movies involved and can try to read them in the um, in the type of voice uh, to mimic the quote. Then you have props that you can give your characters, like the flint flintlock pistol. Now, at the top corner of each of the character cards, there's a number. The cabin boy is not a very strong character, so he's only worth one. A flintlock pistol is pretty deadly as a, a fight ender in these kind of movies, so this is plus six. If the cabin boy is packing the pistol, he is now a seven strength character. What you're trying to do is make the strongest movie, and oftentimes you'll want to set a level limit to how strong your movie is. Anybody who exceeds that number wins right there. Um, that is a, a good way of setting a cap on it. There's another way for the game to end, but I'll get over that in a second. So, um, those are the characters, those are the props. You have locations, like the pirate ship here. And again, this very much goes into um, the idea that you are directing a movie. Interesting thing about, you know, characters, they almost always help your movie. Props, there are a couple of negative props that you can inflict on your opponent's characters. Locations, there are a sprinkling of bad locations that you can inflict on your enemies. Um, but some of them, like the pirate ship, are very good for your movie, very dynamic and so on, so they give you more strength. There are special effects cards, which are instants. Well, some of them, like the stand and deliver, have an instant effect. It causes somebody to lose their next turn. There's a huge variety of what you can do with those uh, cards. Some of them are defensive, that you'll hold in your hand until needed. Some of them are will strengthen attacks that you make on your opponents. Um, some of them just have odd special effects. But you may be asking yourself, well, how do you attack your opponents? Well, quite simple. You introduce a complication into their movies in the name of the creatures. For example, the seductive villainess here, uh, who is a psycho killer and can uh, wreck your movie. If you put out a monster that is stronger than the defense of the movie, that movie is going to lose a character. You kill off one of your characters of your rival's movie. So that is how you attack. In, as far as mechanics go over the turn, it's fairly simple. You can put down one of each type of cards and use them that way. Uh, until, and you draw up at the beginning of the turn. You can lay down one character, one prop, or you can move a prop from one character to another. Uh, one location on yourself or your opponent. Um, and one attack after two rounds have passed. You have to give everybody a chance to at least build up their movie somewhat before you start attacking each other ruthlessly. And special effects you can play whenever. There's another card that has to wait for two rounds. The sixth kind of card, of which there are only two in the deck. Roll the credits. If anybody plays this, game is over and there's almost no way to stop it. So... Uh, if you obviously, if you are, you have the highest strength movie, that's a good card to play. Ends the game. Person with the highest score wins. And uh, it's just a matter of simple addition. You add up all the strength of the cards, location, props, and and your characters, and whoever has the highest wins. Um, there are in every single series that I've seen, there is some special card that has a, a, a special rule, a different wrinkle. For example, there are swashbucklers in here that can duel other swashbuckling characters. You have a private little fight that pits those two characters together, so the top dog can stay on top unless Skullduggery takes them down. Um, which, is, uh, which is all part of the game. And much like other competitive card games, if you have more people, it makes the game more interesting because you have politics and you have different things that... Uh, it influences people try to climb to the end, and you never know when somebody is going to pull up a roll the credits card. So that is the game. Alex and I are going to play a hand of it for your enjoyment. Um, bear with us. Uh, Alex loves to get in front of the video, so uh, if he hams it up a bit, <laughs> it's all part of the fun. So uh, we certainly hope that we entertain you and that you like this video. If you do end up liking it, uh, 
feel free to subscribe, like, share. Um, we love to have your company with us when we play these games. And uh, as long as we have anybody watching, we'll keep making them. I know we both enjoy uh, being on video and entertaining you. So, uh, thank you for your consideration. Without further ado, let's get to the game. All right, here we are. I am Rob. This is Alex. And we are here to play the Scurvy Musketeers of the Spanish Main. So, uh, first of all, we start off by drawing six cards and making a title of our movie out of that. Yes. We have Treasure, Silver, Sherwood, Coast, Great, and seven. Hmm. Well, what do you think, Alex? Great seven at Sherwood Coast. The Great Seven at Sherwood Coast? Okay. How about the seven great silver treasures at Sherwood Coast. Then we can use them all. Seven great silver treasures of Sherwood Coast. Yay! Sound good? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the movie we're making. As yes. an aside, if any of the cards that we have in our movie match any of those words, there's a point bonus in the end that can help us win. So that may be something to consider as well. I don't think any names would match. They do. Not the name of the card, the word that's on it. Ah. Uh, okay. okay. So one last shuffle. Shuffle. Gotta, gotta shuffle. One, two, three, four. Five, six. There you go. There's the draw pile, discard pile right here. And first thing, do you have any characters? Those are the cards with blue on the side. Yes. I do as well. All right, so we don't have to uh, redraw. You can take your ca any characters you have and put them in play now. I have a cabin boy. Good night, Wesley. Good, good work. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. That's a good uh, Princess Bride quote. And what do you have? I have a musketeer. All for one and one for all. Good call, Alexander Dumas. You may put it down. All right. So I have a character with one strength. Who gets a little bit better if I can get a dashing sea captain. He's got a character with a big five strength, and he gets better for every other swashbuckler character. And of course, he is a male swashbuckler. All right. So, to see who goes first, just to be sporting about it, let's uh, let's roll the d20 of deciding. I rolled a natural 20. Yay, me. Oh, gosh. And you start with a three. Dang it. So, yeah, I will go first. Again, very, very, very slight uh, statistical advantage to going first. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Actually, in the rules it says the player go, uh, play goes, the first person is the person to the left of the dealer, which would be you, Alex. So we'll let you go first. The first uh, thing you do is you draw up to six. Since you put one card down, you should be able to draw one card. Two. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so, on a single turn, you can put down a character if you have one, put down a prop if you have one, put down a location if you have one, either on me or on, on yourself, depending on if it's good or not. Um, you play any number of special effects. You cannot attack at this point with a creature, and you cannot play a roll credits card if you have one. So, uh, go ahead. Lay what you'd like that. Oh, gosh, I don't. 
I pretty much don't have anything except for creatures and special effects. Not that much. Okay, so there's nothing you can really do? Nope. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, you can discard any cards that you don't think will help you. That's a good way of next round having more cards to draw that might. I don't think I can have... I don't think I need... I'll give you a moment to, to look through your cards to decide. Okay, we do that. I'll discard more than you you bargained for. Okay, you don't have to read cards that you're discarding just to make things go a little bit faster. So, we'll just move this over here a little bit. Okay. Anything else you want to discard, or is that it? Mm, I'll discard the up, up sewer to the throne. You serpent to the throne? Okay, that's an attack. Anything else? Nope. All right. My turn. I played only one character, so I draw one card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I could put down a prop. I have a longbow. A longbow gives me a plus three to a character, a plus seven if I have a merry outlaw. The cabin boy is going to be armed with a longbow, moving him up to to a total of four strength, which I'm still in second place, but it's a start. Uh, and that is all that I can do. Um, <laughs> Yep, everything else that I can do, I'm not going to. So, uh, my turn is over. I'm not going to discard anything. So, Alex, it is your turn. Draw back up to six cards. Okie dokie. Oh, my gosh. It's... Uh, well, didn't get much. Just another attack. I th yep, another attack. Gosh dang it. I think I'm going to play Shark Infested Waters. Welcome to Shark Tooth Bay. Why don't you stay for a bite? That is an attack, and it's only the second round. You can't play that yet. Oh. Nice, nice idea, though. Dang it. So, anything else? No. Okay, do you want to discard anything? Mm. Now would be the time to do it. I think I'm going to... Yeah. I'll put that away. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, that goes in the discard pile, buddy. I... <coughs> it's okay. I knew that. I knew that. Anything else? You're done? Mm, yep. Okay. My turn. Do, do, do. I have, let's see, five cards, I will draw one, hmm, hmm, oh, just, yeah, nothing that's all that useful to me, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to show off a whole lot of gameplay here with a handful of stuff I can't use. Um, so I am done, and it is your turn. Ooh! I have a location, the Wharf Side Tavern. Wharf Side Tavern, nice. Who's in the mood for a rousing sea shanty? Hmm? Spooky. And that gives me attack, uh, I mean, a death. <clears throat> A defense of five. And it is... Is it aquatic? Yep. Yep, it's seaside. So seaside uh, aquatic monsters can be played against him. Um, but it has some nice abilities. So. Yes. Any, um, also, we should probably set at this point uh, how high our movie is going to score. 
Uh, let's see if we can get a movie up to 30 points. Be the end of the game. Sound good, Alex? Mm hmm All right. 30 points? 30 points. Okay. So, so once one of us has a strength of totaling 30 points with our characters, props, and locations, we win at the end of the round. Yay. Okay? Okay. All right. So you played that. Anything else you want to play? Now you can actually attack me. I'll play shark infested waters. I'm not okay. going to say the quote because I already did. For goodness sakes. Welcome to Shark Tooth Bay. Why don't you stay for a bite? Sure. Uh, gains plus 10 attack if played immediately after another attack against the same movie. So, well, it's 9. I am at 4. I'm probably going to lose. Let me just check. If you have any special effects. Do, do, do. I have nothing that's going to help me. So his creature is going to nom my poor cabin boy with his longbow, and that'll take him out since he's the only character I have that he can, he could attack. No, he, the sharks nommed your cabin boy they did. out of this. Anything else you want to do? Nope. So I'm back to square one with my movie. The only plus side is that um, I can play scurvy on his musketeer. How else can you get people to eat lime? Remove one character from play. You can't play this against a player with exotic tropical fruit in their movie. Your musketeer is dead. Dang it. Scurvy. Well, he's a scurvy musketeer. <laughs> it works for the title. All right. So now both of us are sitting here with absolutely no cast. Yes. So we're, hopefully we'll rectify that. Are you done? Yep. Okay, my turn. I now get to draw a card. <laughs> Yay. All right. I will not play anything because he has no cast, so I can't attack him. I'm going to do some serious discarding of cards that normally I would like to keep, but uh, quite simply, we need to get more cards so we can have better chance of characters. So we're going to get rid of Boarding Party. As much as I hate to do it, I'm going to discard the Fire Ship. No. And I'm going to discard In Times of War. Oh gosh. And because I'm really in need, I'm also going to get rid of You Have Not Seen the Last of Me. Going down to two cards in my hand. But really, I need to draw a bunch of cards to give me a chance of getting some cast and location. So... I am done. Your turn. Okay. Gosh, freaking darn it on a stick. Did you draw up to six? Yes, and I okay, have hey, a hey, yarn. Hey. Tone down a little bit. And I have special effects cards. Gosh dang it. Why don't they remove more? Well, discard your special effects cards you don't need or can't use. I would recommend getting one of the, some rid of some of the attack ones because I have nothing to attack. And unless you cycle some more cards, you're not going to get characters. I guess this I'm card going card. to equal shares and the greedy tax collector. Okay, well that's fair. Anything else? Um, hmm. I assure you there are characters and props and locations in here. We're just not drawing any at the moment. Because there's a lot and a lot of special effects. There I'm are. also going to... Getting rid of Disarm. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay, we're both stripped down a little bit, but here comes some new dis some new draws. So I'm going to draw four cards. Yay. Two, three, four. <laughs> I don't... Don't, don't I, lay on the table. It's not that sturdy. I don't. I don't. All right. Laugh. That's fine. Everyone else will. I have the legendary captain! Sin bad. Virtue good. He's a smart male with a strength of four, and I can discard two cards from my hand to stop an aquatic attack. So that's cool. I also have Skippy the Wonder Sea Dog. What is that, Skippy? Thou thickest villainy is afoot? Yeah, he's also strength four. He is smart, but he can't use props because he's a dog. <laughs> Which means it's my legendary captain who gets the... Oh, wait, I can only play one character a turn. My oops. <laughs> Laugh now. He has a cannon. Plus five. Prepare to be canonized, Monsignor! It is a weapon and a gun. 
Uh, I could discard the cannon to destroy a naval frigate, a pirate ship, or a houseboat. So yay for shooting down ships. But this gives me a movie strength right now of 9. Oddly enough, having no cast, Alex is still at a 5 because he has a location. I do not have anything else to play, so it is your turn. Please give me... Heck yeah! Gets me a character! You have? An exotic scavenge... Savage. Ah, yes. My dear comrades, I put... I put on my breeches just like you. Very nice. He is a male native and large. All right. And I am And he has a strength of two, which puts you up to a f seven. Yep. And the printed defensive strength of any weapon is doubled when held by the exotic savage. So if he had this cannon, it would be a plus ten. And I have a secret letter, which oh, which is a prop. Plus two. If, if I tell you what's in it, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. Okay, it's got a bunch of scrawl on the bottom though. Play a say, card from your hand under this card. That card no longer counts as being in your hand, but may be played as though it was in your hand. If you ever use the card, you may place a new card under here. The secret letter is ever removed from play, so is the card. So you can actually use it to expand your hand by one, too. If you want. Yeah. That would allow you to draw another card next round if you did that. And you can still play it while it's under there. So that's yes, kind of cool. Yes, and I... That's a nice mechanic. I just found out I have a special effect. Buried treasure. Hey, Captain, some of the boys and I thinking this time's... Okay. Try again. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Some of the boys and I were thinking, this time, instead of burying it, why don't we spend the gold? Take five. Take any five cards out of the discard pile and put them in your hand. Oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> yep. Wow. You get to cherry pick five cards. Oh wow. Don't be alarmed. They're That's all just... you're taking? Okay. What? They're five. Okay. It says five? Yeah, it says any five out of the discard pile. Oh, So it actually, doesn't have to be the top five. Eh, actually. I'm going to say, there's a character right here, if you don't have yep. any of those. I am going to put them in. And so, yeah, very Treasure. Wow, that's a powerful card. There are a couple of shockingly powerful cards in this game. Um, they let you do things that normally you would not be doing. Uh, in a lot of uh, card games. But you're still limited to only being able to play one character and one prop at a time, so. Yes. You could attack, you could uh, put change your location if you wanted to, although yours is pretty good. Um, that's up to you. Hmm. Okay, I am done. I am uh, all set, because <laughs> that special effects card did the trick. Okay. Yes. Um, at the end of the turn, yes. I think you have to discard down to six. Discard down to six. Let me see. Let me see. But they don't have six. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just check. The turn. Da, da, da. Oh, gosh. I Play what? special effects cards, da da da. Actually... You may discard as many cards. If you have more, than, you must discard down to six or fewer. I have... I had a few... Um, I had fewer... I had... I have... I had five, so I took one card. Okay, okay we're going to take a little break here. Uh, because Mom is calling. And we will be right back. All right, we're back. So yes. you're at six or less, right? Six or less, yes. And your turn is over? Yep. All right, it's my turn. Okay, I need two cards. One, two. All right, we have Skippy the Wonder Dog, Wonder Sea Dog. 
Same, what is that, Skippy? Thou thinkst villainous to foot? And um, I like your your uh, Wharfside Tavern, but I think your movie would be better below decks. Get down there and start rowing like your life depends on it, because it does. It is a minus two strength location, and it's still aquatic. It could be combined with any location that is both aquatic and a vehicle. So we're going to attach. You are in the Wharfside Tavern below decks. So now your bonus is only plus three. Gosh dang it, Dad. Yeah, I know. I'm a meanie. Yes, you are. You have no idea. Um, also for fun, we are going to give my legendary captain a rapier. Sharp as my tongue and three times as long. Uh, the rapier is a plus three prop. I don't usually like putting all my eggs in one basket and putting multiple props on a single character, but in this case, uh, I don't have another character that can use a prop because Skippy can't. So I. Skippy's a dog, he can't. He doesn't correct. have Correct. But I am going to play craft services. Another sumptuous banquet. Hey, are those zoodles? Draw a card from the deck for each character you have in your movie. So I have two characters. I will draw two cards. Two. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, that's all I can do. Uh, can I play, play the character, play the prop, play the location? I'm good. Alex, it's your turn. Well, since you literally beat... I slightly dinged up your wharf. Yes, You're good. you did. And... To make up for that, I have a musketeer. Oh, he's back, is he? Yes! <laughs> Read his text. All for, all for one and one for all. Yes. Woohoo! Huzzah! Okay. Anything else? Uh, hmm. You're at. Okay, I am at 4, nine. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You are at 5, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I've so got a slightly, very slight. Okay, that's all I can do. Okay, so you're done? Did yes. you want to discard anything? A special effect. Hurricane. Why why are hurricanes named after women? Women. Hmm. You never had to deal with an angry ex-wife, have you? Okay, what does it do? It destroys one location if if it has a trait aquatic, you may also kill a character who is there. Well, you're the only one with locations. Which means you could destroy... Oh, you could destroy the... Oh, yeah, you could take off the below decks part of your... So the the hurricane wipes out the below decks from... That's slowing down your movie. Is that what you want to do? Yes. Okay, because I don't have location, so you can't destroy anything I've got. Tee hee 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 hee. You could also I... kill off one of your characters if you wanted to. Heck no! Just saying it was an option. Great. Anything else? Nope. All right. My turn. I will draw two cards to refill back up to. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We have. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. We're our movie is now going to take place on a country road. You stay in the carriage. Maybe that heavily armed man lying in the road is hurt, and maybe he's not. Uh, the Highwayman always succeeds on the country road, but it is a plus one to my movie. Also, because it's not aquatic, I now can't be hit by aquatic monsters. So that's nice. And stop flicking my cards, please. Thank you. All right. I'm also, for aesthetic's sake, I'm going to give my legendary captain a big floppy hat. Well, it's no big pointy hat, but I guess it'll do. It's a plus one, and it grants the trait swashbuckler to whomever wears it. So now, because he's a swashbuckler, my rapier, which is a swashbuckler weapon, suddenly goes up to a plus six. 
Yikes. So, because it doubles in the hands of somebody who is a swashbuckler. So I, my movie is now 4, 8, 9, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I am 9 away from victory. So Alex is going to have to start doing some serious skullduggery here. Skullduggery? Yeah, you're going to have to start messing with my movie. <laughs> All right, on my turn, because it is, it, I, I, I don't think this is fair in this kind of uh, video. I have a fun card for parties called Silent Movie, which would make another player not be able to talk until their next turn. Um, not going to play that. I'm going to get rid of that, because uh, that's just not fair. I'm also going to get rid of this relatively weak creature, the Highwayman. Number one, it would succeed against me, so getting it out of my hand is a good thing. And uh, secondly, it's just too weak. Alex could beat that easily, so I'm not going to put it out. So it is your turn. Yippee! Give me make two cards. Oh my god! Uh oh. Oh my I'm going to bring my crazy old Marion. Ma Mariner. Mariner. Okay. Albatros. No. Al Al Albatros. Albatros. That's a Monty Python reference. <laughs> that was from a sketch in there, Monty Python and the Flying, uh, the Flying Circus. Circus, I believe. Yes. Very good. Anything else? Um. Actually, I'm going to attack you with uh, attack 10 fire ship. Oh. Um, you, you do remember, we just added it up, and I have 8, 9, 10, 15, 21. 21. Yeah. So if you're attacking me with a strength 10, unless you've got something else to beef it up, I'm just going to brush it aside. And actually, no, I think it's a, it's a fire ship that's aquatic. I'm not in water. Oh. So okay. you can't attack me with that anyhow. Dang it. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to discard the parrot. Wait. That's a character. Are you sure you want to discard it? Dang it. You can't put it out right now, but it's still not a bad thing to have more characters. Okay, yeah. I, I'll actually discard... You might discard the fire ship since you can't use it. Yeah, we'll discard the fire ship. Because, again, you're trying to catch up. You want to get rid of cards so that you can draw more on your turn. Mm-hmm. So, anything else? Mm. I think I'll put out... You, you don't want that character either, huh? No. Okay, that's fine. Anything else? Nope. All right. My turn. I will draw four. One, two, three, four. All right, I will put out the rakish rogue. Eye patches are very comfortable. I'm sure that in the future everyone will be wearing them. It's a nice callback to um, the Princess Bride, with Wesley and his masks. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I will, hmm, I will be done, and it is your turn. Okay, well, that was short. No, this is short. Booty, woo! Play at any time, except during an attack, to take a free turn immediately. If played during an opponent's turn, then play resumes with that player when your free turn is done. You may not roll the credits on your free turn. Oh, so I get to take a new gosh. Turn. Dang it! Yes, so I will draw two cards. You had that up your sleeve, didn't you? No, actually, I just drew it. Um, all right. We'll put down and give a saber. It's a swashbuckling weapon, giving it to my swashbuckling character. Uh, so that gives him double the bonus. Nice sword. You got a dance to go with that? And, okay, so quick check here. Four points, four points. That's eight. Uh, this is doubled. Four, double to four is eight as well, so it's 16. 
17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So you have to stop me before my turn is over, otherwise I'm going to win. Let's see, we'll attack you with the stop motion mythological beast. Move and shoot, move and shoot. This battle's gonna take forever. It is a monster, it is supernatural, so it's gotta kill the crazy old mariner if it succeeds. But it is a strength 13 monster. Now you have two, four, nine, 10, 11, uh, 16. But the monster is ready for the big fight scene in the King's Banquet Hall special effect. Give me every warm body we have in the lot, even the extras. Triple the attack strength of the current attack and give it swarm. Gosh. So it's now a 39 <laughs> point monster. Got anything to help you on that? Okay. This is to show how attacks work between movies. I don't think I can use um, never bring a sword to a sword gunfight if the traits weapon and swashbuckler, which my secret left. Give a prop. Stuck. Well, that would give it bring it up to a seven, and would make it a swashbuckler weapon. But unfortunately, the character who's got it is not a swashbuckler, so that wouldn't help. Not nearly enough. Anything nope. else? No. Okay. You can kill off my crazy well, old mariner. Because it's supernatural, it automatically goes after the crazy old mariner, so he dies. Yep. And... Okay, anything else? Nope. Going once, going twice. All right, this game is over. I have the required 30 points. Um, if you don't set a point score, these games can go on for a very long time and get very, very lopsided. With a movie strength of 33, there aren't a lot of monsters that can challenge them. So it, my movie would just keep getting bigger and bigger at, at that point. Well, luckily, I had rolled the credits. Well, that would have helped if you ever got ahead of me at any point. But, yeah. Would you, like, would you like to play another game? No, thank you. Okay. I actually... Mm, yeah. Okay. Like so uh, if you're watching, we're going into bonus round. This time we'll play a quicker one. We'll play down to 25. Okay? But I was a successful director of the... The, the, sev the, the seven, seven great, great silver, silver treasures, treasures of the Sir Sherwood Coast. Yes. Well, actually, I, I should have checked. Um, do you have... No, you didn't have anything with the, uh, the, the words. No. So, I didn't either. Okay. We're going to keep the, because these decks are fairly large, if you're only here for the one, you can you can quit and be satisfied. We're going to play another quick round. I have these decks are 160 cards, so... That's a lot uh, of cards. We can play two-player, we can play without shuffling. We're going to play a movie involving Scoundrel, Guard, Queen, Warrior, and Swordsman, and Slash. Slash, okay. Well, we can do Scoundrel slash the Swordsman Scoundrels slash the Warrior Queen Queen's Guard. Hmm. What do you think? Okay. okay. You like that? Yeah. So, so we're, the movie we're making is the Swordsman Scoundrel Scoundrels slash the Warrior Queen's Guard. All right. Another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Okay. All right. Do you have a character? Okay, you can place your character. The lady in waiting. Oh, 
Would you please hurry up? I am so sick of... Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Uh, she is uh, defensive too. She is female and young. Is that the only character you have? Yes. I got lucky. I got three. I have the noble swordsman. Now that I've defeated you, I'm going to let you live just to prove what a great guy I am. What an idiot, you mean. Okay. We have the heroic babe. Think that's tough? Try having a sword fight in a corset and four-inch heels. Female, smart, and swashbuckler. So, two swashbucklers. For all purposes, treat her printed defensive strength as equal to the highest printed defensive strength of any male characters in the same movie. So, that'll be four. And then we have the Argonauts that make an appearance, which thematically don't work historically, but that's fine. This is a B-movie. It doesn't have to make a lot of sense. Gee, the brochure said, sail the seven seas. Nothing about giant monsters, supernatural horrors, and legendary creatures living in those waters. So that's a swarm. Uh, means that uh, guns don't work against them. And their defense is equal to the other char number of other characters in the movie, maximum seven. So that's two right now. So, I'm doing pretty good for the opening draw. I can't complain. <laughs> but, you get to go first. I have a creature. You can't play creatures in the first two rounds. Pretty sure that's... I'll double check on that. But look the girls. Did you draw up to six first of all? It's the first thing you do. Oh, oop, no. Um, ooh, location. Sherwood Forest. Dang. Okay. Well, that's a that's a location. That's a good one. If I would have had, sh if this was the last round, I would be set because the Sherwood. Well, how about let's make this round and see what you can do. Okay, I have Sherwood first. Okay. Sherwood first. Uh, ooh, did not want to forget a prop. The Scimitator. Dude. Scimitar. 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 Dude. Someone bent your sword. Is a swashbuckler weapon. So actually, when, actually, the only thing that's restricted is you can't play attacks on the... Uh, uh, you can only not play roll the credits in the first two turns. So it doesn't say you couldn't attack me. So we can let you do that, actually. I'll put that down for insurance. And, oh, actually I have a Tag 13 creature, Phantom Vessel. I heard tales of a ghost ship that kills in its wake. No survivors. If there's no survivors, why did the stars come from? That's I, a that's quote a, from Pirates of the Caribbean. That, that's a horrible might. Voice. That's um, okay. Australian voice. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Australian sound like. That's fine. Australian. So you're attacking me with that. Uh, so, with that, it is aquatic, monster, supernatural, and zombie all at once. If the attack fails, the target may choose to make the phantom vessel his new location. It has a defensive strength of plus five. And the traits, Vehicle and Aquatic. All cards that affect Pirate Ship and Evil Frigate affect this location as well. So, it's going to attack me at 13. I have 4, 8, 9, 10. Against 13, there's not much I can do about that. Pretty rude, since I haven't had a single uh, action yet. Sorry. That's okay. So, I can't, I can't do anything about it. It's going to win. I'm going to lose a character. Who are you going to get rid of? Really? Oh. Wow. Well, actually. Uh, really? What? If you take him out, she has no male character to pattern off against. Oh, yeah. That one. Okay. So you're going to take him out. Yep. So, fortunately, I have a stunt double. First, you swing on the rope through the flames, dodging cannon fire. You mean Larry swings on the rope through the flames. Prevent one character from being removed from play for any reason. Ha ha. I don't... sneaky little devil. Yeah, those special effects cards come in handy. Yes. So, uh, are you done? Or do you have anything else you want to do? Can't play two creatures at once. 
You can play it. You can attack with another monster if you want. I'll have the... Not less, more... More durable. The Treacherous Musketeer. All for one and more for me. <laughs> sounds like a quote from the end of the Three Musketeers movie with... Uh, um, Tim Curry. It was all for me, I believe it was. Uh, Swashbuckler and Psycho Killer. Uh, the tr if the traitorous musketeers first attack succeeds, they may immediately make a second attack. That is unfortunate because <laughs> uh, you're trying to fight a card. Yeah. So we're gonna try this. Uh, marooned. Shall I give you the tour? There's the ocean, there's the beach, and there's the palm tree. That pretty much sums it up. Uh, again, from Pirates of the Caribbean. Take any number of characters from one movie, as long as they are, their printed defensive strength does not exceed five, and then set them aside. They're no longer part of the owner's movie. The owner may get them back by having a card in play that is both aquatic and a vehicle, and discarding two cards from his hand for each character they wish to remove. So... I'm going to set my characters aside so they don't get murdered by your musketeer. Now you have nothing to attack. So the attack succeeds, but there's nobody to kill. Anything else? Yes. What? No. I'm mad. Why? I'm I, have, <laughs> I, have, I have voluntarily removed any defensive strength to my movie. You are now way, ab way ahead of me. Because I have nothing. Oh, that's freaking right! <laughs> yes! Anything else? Your turn, yes. Okay. I wouldn't be so quick to gloat. Dig it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how we do, shall we? First of all... Uh, your Sherwood Forest gives way to the Gallows, which is minus two. Uh, does the prisoner have a last request? Yes. Please don't kill me. So, your movie just goes down by two. And for my character, the pet monkey! We named the monkey Jack. <laughs> Which is again from Pirates of the Caribbean, and I love that they use so many Pirates of the Caribbean uh, jokes. Uh, he has a defense of two. He is smart. And he can discard three cards from my hand to make the pet monkey steal a prop from any movie. The owner can prevent the theft by giving me two random cards from their hand. I can use it any time I want. No! Uh -huh. Not the monkey! Not the monkey! And the monkey is going to get... My skimmer. But I won't allow that because I have two random cards. So what? Two random cards. Uh, that you, stops the thief. I'm not stealing anything from you. Oh. I don't want your scimitar yet. Gosh dang it. I'll wait until you have no cards in your hand. No. Well, then you got to keep two cards in your hand. All right, but I am going to give the monkey a cask of grog. It gives him no defensive bonus. Excuse me, I have a grog in my throat. Um... I can discard the Cask of Grog to give all of my characters plus two to their defensive strength for the duration of one attack. Which, with only my monkey, can double his effectiveness. And that is all I can do. It's your turn, Alex. That pretty much sums up what you did. Okay. One, two. Three, so now our now our movies are at four, two plus three five. is five, minus two is three. Five. Versus mine, which is a two. Uh-oh. I have pirate ship. We're not pirates. We're maritime entrepreneurs. Very nice. To replace right yep. I... <laughs> So that's plus seven. Nice. That's a big chunk of what to get you to the game. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Funny. Well, last. Anything else? Uh, nope. I am going to discard a bunch of cards like my crow's nest, which is a location. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Yes, I could. Um... Just so you know, if you read the card, it says maybe combined with any location that has aquatic and vehicle. Like this oh, one. yeah, that. So maybe you want to keep it. Yes. You can't use it yet, but you Dang can use it next round. Uh, oh, gosh, this is a long list. Mm. If I discard to the pain, I, I'm going to discard if you can read the list because it's a lot and I can't. Yes, oh, yeah, but you pick two two characters to fight each other, basically, is what it does. Oh, oh okay. Oh. You want to discard it? Yes. Okay. To the pain, uh, one, wonderful card, because, again, directly off of Princess Bride. Uh, This round, we're just gonna stay. Okay. Um, can I discard the both credits? Because you can discard it if you want, or you can play it to yeah, win. I mean, it's your call. I'll discard that if that was a bad choice. If it was. It depends on if you want to win or not. If you want to win, I'm gonna keep it. If you want to win, play it and you win. Unless I have something up my sleeve with these three cards in my hand, you're gonna win. Because you've got a big advantage over me. Well, this is going to be a short round, but I need uh, It's your call. I, so many choices. Uh, why not? I... Going once. Going twice. Okay, discarding Perry. Hey, Jen, P. Okay. Anything else? Oh! No, that's going to be good. Okay. <laughs> Indecision is as terrible as, as an, a canny opponent. I'll have that. I'll discard that. I am not left-handed. Ah, another wonderful Princess Prime quote. Anything else? Only once. Yes, I am done. Okay. You may now... Don't know why you didn't want to win the game. What? Two. I don't know. Three. All right. We will have a monastery. Monastery. Yes. It is plus three. Get thee to a monkery! Which is a twisted version of a quote from Hamlet in Shakespeare. A twisted version? Yeah, it's normally get thee to a nunnery, but this one's about a guy, so it would be to a monkery, I guess. Uh, defense plus six in a movie with any of the following characters. Old monk, old priest, preacher man, reverend minister, or helpful cleric. Those are from a variety of the other B-movie games, so... Um, I will... Do, do, do. I can already tell you have something up your sleeve. Well, yes. I have a powder keg. It's a minus two, but... Powder keg? One spark and it's straight to Davy Jones' locker with all of us. However, that minus two that I played on myself, discard from play to add plus 15 defensive strength for the duration of the current attack, or discard from play to destroy one location. So there goes the pirate ship. Should have won the game when you had a chance. I did ask. Well, that's this okay. is going to be my turn, so... Just wait. Um... Can I already tell you? Then plan? we'll play Stand and Deliver! Hand over all your lupins! Which I can't remember if that's from Blackadder or if that's from Monty Python. Anyhow, uh, force the player of your choice to miss their next turn. So, it's not your turn next, it's my turn again. And, uh, that will be it. F well, no, I'll actually play I the hate this game! <laughs> I hate it and it's cheap, and the stupid card. The irony is you actually picked this game, so. I also play a treasure map. 
I tell all the tourists it's inked in blood and written on human skin. You wouldn't believe how many I sell in a week. I can discard it to play to take one non-vehicle location or treasure card. I hate its cards. From any movie or the discard pile and put it into your... One non-vehicle location or treasure card from any movie. Oh. Are there any better locations in there? Maybe. Or maybe there's... Nothing better than what I've got, so we'll just go with that. And now it, I'm done with my turn, so it is my turn again, because but you skipped a turn. my ship! You could have just took in my ship! I couldn't take your ship because this is a non-vehicle location. Oh! Right. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, because you skipped my turn. <laughs> your uh, lady-in-waiting is going to get an eye patch. I'm sure that'll find her a husband. How'd you get that? Rubbing my eyes in the morning. First day with a hook. Minus one to your character. Can be put on an opponent's character. Oh and... <laughs> I am so mad! So mad! What? Oh, uh, if I get... No, no, I, I... Yeah, I've got to do this. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, now she's going to get attacked by island savages. That is a strength 12 card. Their women aren't wearing any clothes. That's to draw your attention away from their spears, sir. It's a strength 12 attack. Can you defend against it? You have two, five, minus one, four. So a total strength of four, and it's got a strength of 12. Can you stop it? We have taking the mantle. Okay. What is that, senor? That is easy. Looks like a duel to me. Uh, take one character out of the discard pile and place it in your movie. Its defense is two less than its printed defense. Okay. So you get to take a card out. These are the characters that have come so far. Um, none. There's no dead characters. That won't work. So you don't have a legal target for that, so you don't get to play that. But I have parry. Stop one card except throw the credit. Stop one card as it's being played. Yep, that will stop my island savages. So my lady, lady in waiting is a. Except that she's now being attacked by the city watch. For the right price, we can watch for trouble. Unless you won't, don't want us to, then it'll cost you more. It's a swarm. Uh, it can knock out characters instead of killing them, so it really won't kill her. But uh, it's got a strength of eight. You've got a strength of four. Can you stop it? We have set sail, add plus three for the duration, or stop one attack against a movie that has... Okay, that would give you plus three, which would bring you up to a seven. But this is a strength of eight. I knock her out. I don't care. Okay, here's the fun part of this, though, though. What? Peg leg. It even has a secret compartment. I keep my keys in here so I won't lose them. Play to stop any character from being killed or otherwise removed from play. The character loses minus two for as long as they remain in play. So now she has an eye patch and a peg leg. If I could just give her a hook, she'll be the perfect pirate. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? I dare anything. I am Skeletor. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. Cheeky little son of a gun. <laughs> Stop laughing. Okay. It was funny, though. You're... I swear, if, you... if I had something I could help, you're... Uh... Your butt is going to get so red! Well, we'll see. You have one, to do something first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm still hoping for a nautical location so that I can but get my people off from being since ruined. Since you messed up my lady in waiting. You have two, five, four, three, two. You have two strength. Well, I've got a monkey. It's your turn. I've got a monkey in a monastery. A monk. E. Monkey. <laughs> he is in a monkery. Are you gonna go? I only have two. Just, just calm down. I have one, one location. Calm card. down. Calm down. Play it if you've got it. One roll of the credits and a whole bunch of. Play it if you've got it. Okay, you've got a crow's nest. That's plus three. But I that helps your movie. Ship. That helps your movie. 
move but forward. It doesn't help my shit. That helps your movie move forward. So you're up to five. You're a quarter of the way towards winning. What are you? I'm at two, three, four, five, six. I'm up by one. Calm down. I'm so mad. Okay, I am going to be done and I am going to take out this. You're discarding? Yes! Okay. I'll just wait for you to figure out what you're discarding. I have walked the plank! Kill one character if they were either the naval frigate or the pirate ship. Dang it. That you don't have. It will kill them if they're on. If they were on, you immediately rank, bank five points. So that you could just kill off my monkey if you want. Yes. Okay. Um, well, when you do that, I am going to use the treasure map right away. Oh, no, I can't. I can only use that in my turn. Okay. Well, that gets rid of all that. And I am going to play Roll the Credits. Oh. Can I? Crud. Yes, you can. <laughs> Okay. Um, yes. I have three, you have three, you have a character. Sneaky, but you finally got around to it. You win. The, you, uh, won, you won the backhanded way, but you won. Okay. Like I said, if I find any cards, okay. your butt was going to get red. Well, my butt isn't red, I assure you of that, but you won. Well done. Congratu Through special Congratulations, appearance. you won. All right, so that was two games, a bonus doubleheader for you for uh, the scurvy musketeers of the Spanish main. I hope you've enjoyed this session, and uh, stay tuned. We will have more gameplay with Alex and I in the future. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see, either more of the Z-Man games that I've got or uh, you know anything else that comes to mind, let us know in comments. Oh uh, we gosh. listen and we will be uh, humoring special requests if we can oblige. <sighs> Thank you very much. And may have many safe ventures. Bye-bye.